Hi, I'm Tabitha. I'm with my partner Subasa, and this is a video on determining the chemical formula of hydrated copper sulfate. Everything has an objective, a purpose that the universe has given it. Naturally, this project has an objective too. The objective here is to solve for the number of moles of water in a hydrate copper sulfate. But how? Obviously, it's easier said than done, so I guess I owe you an explanation. Just hang on, because we'll get there. Of course, you're going to need some things. These are a tripod, a Bunsen burner, and a clay triangle, like such. Next is the crucible with the cover. And then tongs, a balance, and a clock or a stopwatch or a timer or whatever, but it doesn't really matter because the brain is the most important. Of course, let's not forget the hydrated copper sulfate. And that's really it. And back to the question of how. Weigh the empty crucible with the cover and take note. In our case, it was 34.86 grams. Next, weigh in one gram of hydrated copper sulfate. Now what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna dehydrate it. Basically, evaporate the water. It's not that complicated, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It'll only take a couple of minutes, but the point is, it needs to change from blue to white. Once it's white, take it down and put the lid on to prevent it from becoming hydrated. Let it cool for a while and then weigh it again. In our case, we got 35.5 grams. Using this information, deduce the masses of water and copper sulfate. Here's what we have. Since there's 1 gram of hydrated copper sulfate in a 34.86 gram crucible and cover, that would make 35.86 grams in all. The crucible with anhydrous copper sulfate weighs 35.5 grams. Thus, we can deduce that the weight of water is 0.36 grams. Logically, what isn't water in that 1 gram would be copper sulfate. That would make 0.64 grams of it. What we need to do with this is we've got to find out how many moles it is. And to do that, we need the molar mass of both compounds. Water, as we know, has a molar mass of 18 grams per mole, while copper sulfate has a molar mass of 160 grams per mole. Now that we have the mass and the molar mass of each compound, we can solve for the number of moles. To do this, we need to divide the mass by the molar mass. There! Oh, but we're not done yet. You're kidding, right? Yes, yes, I know, you're bored. Bear with me here. All we need to do now is find the chemical formula. What we're going to do is we're going to divide the larger number by the smaller number. And what we get from that is our answer. Let's just write it all down. There. Piece of cake, am I right? Right, cake. Absolutely awesome. Almost done now. In conclusion, the chemical formula of a hydrate copper sulfate can be obtained by applying simple logic and calculations to data gathered through simple operations. Dividing the masses of both compounds by their molar masses, thus obtaining the number of moles, and using the number of moles to form ratios by dividing the larger by the smaller. Okay. I still have to fill this in until it reaches the ideal video time of 5 minutes set by the 10 project rubrics, so sorry.